Hello everyone. Welcome back to Arpita's Tech Corner. In this video, we are going to learn about four DAX information functions. Is empty, is blank, is after, and is on or after. Okay? So, uh, after completing this video, if you need this working file, please check the description section of this video and you will get the GitHub link where I am providing all the working file details. So, before proceed with some example, let us understand what is the purpose. Okay? First, is empty. It helps to check if a table is empty and it will return true if the table is empty. That means it doesn't have any rows or else it will return false. What is is blank? Like is blank helps to check whether a value is blank and returns true or false. A boolean value of true if the value is blank otherwise false. So is empty is for table whether it's empty or not and is blank it's for a value. Okay. Now what is is after? Is after returns boolean value. When the create the records after the start position which is mentioned in the condition and is on or after it is also returning a boolean value it create the records from the start position which is mentioned in the condition okay so in our example we'll see the comparison between is empty and is blank and is after and is on or after. So, let's start with some example. First, we need to import some sample data. Just go to help and example sample data set. Load this sample data. Select this financials and load. Your uh, data is ready. Let us uh, just create one sample report from here. I am going to select this country and this sales value. So, uh, we have created a small report. Okay. First, start with is after. Okay. For that, we just need to go to modeling section, select new table. So, I am keeping the name as a uh, table and select this filter. Within filter, I need to Pass this table name financial comma then I am going to use is after so in this uh, is after function we need to pass the value and value to one and the order okay so the first value I am going to select country comma for example, Canada. Okay. Now, sorry, just need to change this. Canada and in ascending order. Closing the bracket and close the final bracket. So, your new table has been created. Let us select this table and create a small report. Similar way, I am going to select the country value and the sales value. You can observe, here I have used is after Canada, okay, and ascending order. So, it is selecting France, Germany, Mexico and United States of America. So, it is ignoring the Canada value. That means, after Canada value, it has been selected all other rows. Okay. Now, this is is after. Now, what is is on or after? Let us create another table. Under this modeling section, select this new table. In the similar way, I am going to select this filter function first. Then passing this table, comma, 
is on or after okay is on or after so first i need to pass the value so what is that that is financial country comma here i am going to select for example germany okay comma and i am going to select the ascending order so close the first bracket then the final bracket so your table 2 has been created again similar way just create a small report selecting the country value then the sales value you can observe it has been started from germany mexico and united states of america okay so so we observe when we are using is after the record will start from the up whatever the condition we are mentioning after that condition it's created the table okay and for the is on or after that means it will start from the mention condition okay so in this way we can use is after or is on or after these two functions okay now we are going to see how we can use this is empty and is blank function for that i'm just going to create another page so before proceed with this is blank and is empty function let me create some sample data so i'm just using this enter data section keep the name as a year another column price 1 price 2 2013 2014 2015 and for example the price 1200 1250 and keep the price two fifty. And I'm keeping this price two for 2015 as blank. Okay. Just keep some name price table and load the data. So this price table has been created. So first we are going to create some measure based on this price 1 and price 2 okay so for example giving this total price 1 which is sum of this price 1 okay and another measure for price 2 total price 2 equal to sum of price 2 okay now we are going to check how we can use this is blank function first create another measure where i will keep some name total price 3 Okay, first I am going to check whether this any of this value has any blank or not. Okay, then I am going to check if within bracket is blank, where I am going to use this price 2, close the bracket comma if it is blank then what it will populate it will populate thousand else it will populate total sales price one plus hundred okay so your price three value has been populated let us create a small report okay first year price 1, price 2 and price 3. 
so you can observe based on our condition first it uh, checks whether this price 2 is blank or not if it is blank then it will populate 1000 otherwise it will populate price 1 plus 100 so which is 1350 here also 1300 okay so in this way we can use this is blank function so is blank function is affecting whenever we are checking some value for a column okay now how we can use this is empty function in this table let us create another measure and i will check is empty check okay first i'll select this is empty function within that is empty function we need to pass the table name okay what is the table name this is price table now let us create another report and select this field name so obviously it will be false because in this table we have some records so it's not empty let's check when a table is empty what exactly it's returning is it returning true or something else for that purpose we are going to create another small table and i will just give some name id and empty table okay i'm not adding any rows just load this table okay this table is here now we are going to create in the similar way this measure is empty sorry check okay i'm going to select this is empty function within that i'm going to pass this empty table close the bracket now we are going to create a small report and select this measure and it's returning true so we can observe when we need to use this is empty because when we are going to check whether a table is empty or not at that time we need to use this is empty function and is blank function is for to check the column level values so from this video you are able to understand when you are going to use all these four DAX information functions as well as you are able to compare between this is after and is on or after also is empty versus is blank if you need this working file please check the description section of this video and if you like this video please comment and subscribe to my channel and share with your friends Thank you. Thanks for watching.